Yo, what's up guys, I'm really here and welcome to my channel. Of course, you already know, hit the like, subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload a video. It really I really appreciate it because, you know, it helps out the channel, of course. Um, I've been playing a little bit of PP, just testing some teams out, see what works. And I can honestly say that the PvP rule currently right now is pretty toxic. Like, um, I know that's surprising, PvP rule being toxic, I know it's crazy. But basically, you got HP of 25%, HP buff. You also got the one down here, which been the monthly one, as you can see, which it stops old rush team. Basically, if you get one old gauge, you instantly get a one old lock seal. Um, basically with the PP rule, it doesn't really promote different teams. It just boosts up the the current meta teams right now, which is unfortunate. So I might not even do that many PP videos as I would like to, just because of that PP rule. It doesn't really like um, it don't really like promote like versatile teams or anything. Um. I'm just using this anti-meta team for this video. Uh, basically what you're gonna do is just have green small DN just counter the one that's gonna team. Um, you just wanna taunt team pretty much. Uh, it's been seen a lot of people have like blue droll as a subunit because I've been facing against a lot of big whales. Clapping on, you already know man, you already know. Free to play clapping whales, original. But basically they just have blue droll on the original, the one that's gonna team which is usually like this. And they just have blue droll in this slot to be toxic. Blue Joe is pretty good, not gonna lie, because you know he has his petrification. And it, being able to seal off a unit is pretty good. So I would just say use green small DM if you don't have blue Joe. And you want to have Tarmio because Tarmio can boost up boost up your HP if you get hit based upon your defenses. So if you get hit, you get instant HP back, a lot more HP back. Usually the one Escanor has to use two gold influxes to kill off green small DM. And I have to kill off his green Gotha before then. So let's just have some fun in PvP. Alright, what we got now? Uh, green small DN team. That's gonna suck for me. Usually anti-meta versus anti-meta is pretty bad. You never want to go after another anti-meta team. Uh, let me guess, he has Tarmiel. Yep, everyone has Tarmiel, guys. You always want to have Tarmiel. So I'm gonna do this. And I'm about to taunt. For DN, I'm going to have to kill him with two influx cards, if I ever get it. So I'm going to have to stall right here. It's it's whoever gets two influx gold influx cards. If he wastes his card, that would be pretty clutch for me. If he wastes this. Oh, he goes for that. He wastes his rank up, so I'll take that instead. See, that's why a lot of people using like blue droll and all that because then you just be able to petrify the green small dn right then and there and just go after the one Escanor while also having a taunt i might try to build up my blue droll maybe and this is a terrible hand this is a very bad hand but i'm gonna have to attack just so i don't waste my three buffs But this is a very bad hand for me. A very bad one. Alright, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a rank up this turn. Which that sucks. Wow. If I had a gold influx, that'd be a lot better for me. Okay. And I don't get another rank up, so I'm probably going to have to attack him again. Because he's going to have to taunt next turn. Ugh, where's my taunt at? 100k? Wow. It was close. It was close. That was pretty close, wasn't it? He has the same thing as me, though, with goddesses been in the back. Um... Uh, I'll probably do that in attack. But I'm pretty sure I should kill. I think. Hopefully. He had a lot of DN cards. I probably should have left him alive. With all those DN cards he had. Wow. And no rank up. Oh my god. Don't tell me it's going to be that type of, type of match. Where I get no rank ups. The entire time. 
But my DN is gone. Yeah, and I have like no rank ups. Hopefully I get one right here. Yeah, still no rank ups. Oh my god. This sucks for me. Uh I'm probably have to go after his goddess list bit right here then. And I'm close to having my ultimate. So he's gonna be very scary right now. And try to kill off my the one Espinor. So hopefully he's not a guy with um with um a rank up. Because he's gonna kill me off. Oh wait, no, I don't. I'm at one. I thought it was at two. Oh, this is bad. I thought it was at two. He's definitely gonna try to take away my gauge right now. Yeah, he's gonna take my take away my gauge. Yep. Jeez, I thought it was at two. Oh, that sucks. Um, I have to be very careful right here. But I'm gonna have to stun. And then take away his gauge as well. What I'm assuming he's gonna probably do is probably throw up his shield for Goddess Elizabeth. Which is good for me, because I already forced his revive. So all I have to do is just go all in with the one Esknor. Oh, this is a bad hand. This is a very bad hand for me. Okay, he goes for Goddess Elizabeth. He's gonna throw up a shield as well. And he has a gold shield. Yeah, this is a very bad hand for me. Oh, man. Yeah, that was a very bad one. Let's see if I can break it easily like that. And hopefully this last Brawn card breaks through. Hopefully. Yes. So we're going to reduce his hands to only two cards now. That is perfect. That is perfect. That is a perfect play. And I have a stun card if I want to. So I'm probably going to stun his um, Green Gother if I want to. Or try to kill off his The One Escanor. He can't kill me off because I'm already at three. Or if he gets a crit. <laughs> yep, he forfeited. GG. That's That was a perfect play. Perfect. All right, what we got? What? A king? 268k CC as well. Why would you have king? Unless you're going to try to give up. Is he going to try to petrify me? I guess that works as, as well. Oh, he's trying to petrify the end first turn. Well, I would assume he would try to do that. Yeah, just petrify the end. He probably got Goddess Elizabeth in the back as well. So now he has to hope that he get another rank up. The bad thing about his team is he has no taunt unit. So unless you get a whole gold card right now for the one Escanor, he's going to end up losing him. And probably forfeit afterwards. He has to get another rank up right here. Or lose. Because I'm going after his Escanor. <sighs> Please, I'm just not a rank up. What? Wait, what? This man is amazing with rank ups, isn't he? This man is godly. I'm dealing with a professional. Well, at least I have my DN taunt up now. So unless he has another petrification, um, I should be good. Please tell me he doesn't. Because this would be like the worst time in my life if he does. Uh, he's not killing. I could have told him that. What I feel like doing is killing off is the one Escanor. I wonder what he has though. 240 HP. Yeah, I feel like killing him off. Just to see what he's going to do afterwards. Because I feel like he's going to most likely forfeit after I kill him off. 
All right, now we got the influx card. We should one shot. Yeah, let's see what he does now. Because Blue King is like open because he has like zero crit resistance. And you have lost Vayne. Dude, your team is just like food for the one. I'm not going to lie to you. I wouldn't even use this team. This team is food. Because you don't have Goddesses bit. I guess you might be the type of be type of player to be like free to play. Because you don't have Goddesses bit. All you have is Lost Vayne. And he was just trying to out CC me probably. Because Lost Vayne is just food for me. Like no lie. He's just food. So that's GG. Lost Vayne is going to be gone right here. Uh, let me give him an emote for respect. Because I really like this team. Um, unfortunately, this guy was pretty free to play. Like, there's no way to explain this type of team. Other than that you're free to play. Because it, cause if a person usually have like Blue Droll instead of Blue King. Blue Droll is way better. I might even build up Blue Droll. Because he's looking pretty good now in PvP. Okay. Petrifies me again. So I'm, I guess I'm just going to spam these cards. Until I kill off his Blue King. Because Blue King literally has like no crit resistance. Look at all that damage. And I was at one stack. Not even two. If I was at two, he'd probably been done for. I'm guessing he's gonna petrify my one right here. But he didn't take away my gauge, so. Um, I guess that's a good for me. Like, I don't know what other play he's gonna do. Other than get hit with his ultimate. Yeah. So, Festival King is gone. Oh my god, not Festival King. Blue King. Jeez, I'll be always calling people Festival King. Kind of toxic. Alright, so GG, I guess. Just in case I didn't name Ochu, I forget. I forget sometimes. Just for respect. Because I like this team. He needs to go build up Blue Drill, though. And his team would be perfect. Yep. Yep, that's all he has to do. And here you go. Boosh. GG. Alright, what we got now? A small green DN. Yo, I'm about to use Sariel, man. Forget these. T <laughs> I'm about to just run the Sariel teams, man. Because I'm tired of these DN teams. And he's also using Rigotha, so he's extra toxic. He's extra toxic today. Um, He's using Tarmiel, though. He is not. That is a big mistake for him. That is a big mistake. He must be free to play. He must be free to play. That is a big mistake. Not having um, Tarmiel. You always want to have Tarmiel in your DN, no matter what. Even if, even if Tarmiel is like one out of six. Like you want to have Tarmiel on DN, no matter what. This is gonna probably gonna be the last match too. Uh, but Red Gotha is gonna be. Attacks on me right here though. Um, is he playing a long time? What what is going on? What is this man doing? I didn't even emote you, dude. And he, he's doing 15 seconds. 15 seconds, isn't he? <sighs> this guy is doing 15 seconds on me. Yeah. What a nice guy. Should I just board this guy? He's doing like 15 seconds on me. How nice. How nice of him. Legit. I didn't even emote or anything. He's just doing 15 seconds. Out of nowhere. And you know it's a real player because it started off with um, the icon. It. He's legit doing 15 seconds. Bro. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. <laughs> this guy is actually doing 15 seconds. I don't know what you must have seen in PvP where you're actually doing 15 seconds on me for no reason. 
But my god, it's not that serious. Is it because of my team? Like, like, why are you 15 seconds of me? Like, I'm, I'm very curious now. Right, I'm just throwing my taunt real quick. He has Red Gother, so Red Gother is pretty bad in PvP. And watch how much HP he has, still has on his DN, just because he's not using Tarmio. Super low HP now. Super low. He's still doing 15 seconds. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> no way. No way. No way. No way. I'm, maybe, maybe he's just like thinking hard right now. Maybe he's just thinking hard. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he's just thinking real hard of like what to do. Maybe, maybe that's it. Yeah, he just got rid of my DN. Wow. Man, I got a perfect hand. Hopefully I get another the one Eskimo card. And I do not. Um, this is a very terrible hand for me. So I'm gonna have to use the influx card on him. And then hit his Gother. But this is a very bad hand. His DN lasted a long time and had no cards in his hand. Wow. Wow. So, yep, reveal your goddess, Elizabeth. Um, he has two stacks now. He's probably gonna go for attack seal, which is possible right now. Because he got a lucky hand. Better hand than I did. Way better hand. I don't know if he's gonna attack seal because he's playing a lot faster now that he got rid of my DN. He's playing a lot faster. This guy, this guy was over here just being like a petty loser, and he he didn't even lose the match, which is crazy. Like he was being petty, and he was not even gonna lose. He did all that for nothing. Watch he has more of the one excellent cards right now. Uh, I have nothing for attack seals. So if he doesn't have attack seal, okay. He must not got the good hand that he wanted. Which is why he's still stalling right now. He must have got no attack seals. Because he is not killing me one stack. No way. It was close though. He was really close. Well, you get an emote for that, man, for respect, you know? Just because he was so close to killing me. Right there. You get it for respect, of course. Just for waiting the 15 seconds, too. And I got all my HP back, too. Yep, just for respect, my guy. Thank you for waiting those 15 seconds for me. No, I learned a lot about myself during those 15 seconds, you know. I learned about, like, how um, I should be treated like a king, you know. Don't let no woman, like, um, um, bring you down. I learned a lot in those 15 seconds that you just stalled out. This man is going, like, to the up tint. Yep, and there goes my debuff immunity. Yeah, GG, my dude. Pretty pretty fun match. For the last one. I, I enjoyed playing against you, you know? And I'm gonna throw through shield just so you don't um just so you don't crit me next time. I'm not six out of six, so doesn't matter. What a nice guy. Too bad he lost. He was such a a very sportsman-like player. Um, I don't know if he was actually playing. Playing on the clock. Oh, he actually forfeited. So maybe he was actually thinking, you know. Maybe he wasn't like being toxic and waiting 15 seconds each time. And playing pretty bear terrible. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this PvP video. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to build up the Blue Droll. Just so I can have some fun in PvP. Because Blue Droll looking very promising now in PvP. 
especially with this HP buff. He's pretty toxic right now. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, this is Merly, and I'm out, guys. Peace.